new, 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 new. What do we got this week? Okay, got a lot of fun things this week. Starting off with this heavy stainless steel PCB vise. Um, I really like this vise. It's really heavy and it's got this like spring, like tri wing action. Um, it's great for SMT rework in particular. And I just like that it's really heavy. It weighs about a pound. So you can show it on this overhead. It's kind of cool. Um, this is originally like sold for reworking um, cell phones. It's great for like thinner PCBs. Um, oh, can you move the... Uh, no, yeah, I'm just doing multiple Yeah, things. just because you can see you don't have a ton of clearance. So it's really good if you're working on like single-sided PCBs or PCBs that are mostly surface mount. What's nice is it's really easy to set it up. You basically get this um, spring action here and these move. So you set it up by um, finding two spots that you can hook into. And then you pull this part back and now it's like nice and solid. Like it's not going anywhere and you can rework and push and prod and it, it doesn't move easily. It's nice and heavy. So this is great for um, a nice flat vise if you don't want like a, a tall one. We also have a, a nice one for uh, through hole work. Um, it's the uh, Pros Kit. But this one from Kai is uh, great for when you don't need a lot of space and your boards aren't too big. So maybe like two by three and a half inches. Okay, next up. Uh. This piece of metal. This piece of metal is for mounting uh, our TT motors. These are these plastic gearbox motors. This um, piece of metal is just like the perfect size and has holes and it even comes with all the screws and nuts to attach it. I'll show that on the overhead as well. Um, two long screws go through the body of the gearbox motor. Um, and then um, this piece connects and you screw it through and it attaches uh, quite strongly. And then you get four screws, uh, M3 screws and nuts to attach to your plastic or metal or, or cardboard thing. And it's pretty solid. So this is like, you know, a, a chassis that Angelica made. And uh, you know, it's solid. Like it's, it's not really moving anywhere. The cardboard bends, but this mount does not. And having the four points means it, you know, even through a uh, material that could tear, it, it's not going to. It's, it's pretty much stuck in place. So it's a very simple, low cost, uh, nine degree mount, works really well. Okay, next up. Use the power of the sun to solar your, <laughs> to solar power your solar. projects. Uh, for Voltaic, um, we carry a lot of their solar panels. This is a one watt panel. It gives you about six volts and about, um, I think 180 milliamps. Uh, it's like this really lovely color. It's got uh, a protective uh, epoxy coating and it's got um, mounting screws on the back so you can attach it to stuff and it's got these little plastic nuts that uh, let you attach it to fabric or cardboard or wood or paper whatever and it's um, it's very weatherproofed so you can use it outside it's designed for outside use it comes with a 1.3 millimeter DC jack and we have in the store little adapters that let you plug this into a 2.1 millimeter DC adapter um, not great for powering something directly because, again, the sun comes and goes as the clouds or um, somebody walks in front of the solar panel and the voltage will dip. So you should use this to charge a battery that then powers your project, and that's kind of the best way we recommend using these solar panels. But we really love their panels. They're extremely durable, uh, high quality. Um, they're made in Malaysia and um, just excellent panels all around. The they're, they're yep. same panels used in their products are now available to makers. Okay. These are super cute. Come here. Kitten bot. Um, we got all the colors. We do have all the colors. We'll show the, the front with the micro bit inside of it. Yes, yeah, so these are these silicone cases for micro bit by Kitten Bot. They're totally adorable. They're like kind of little angry kittens. Um, so I can show they come in two pieces. The bottom half, um, it's like a snug fit. It does, once, once you have it on, you can still alligate or clip to it. Uh, or you can remove it if you want to plug it into something that has a breakout. And then this whole body is silicone, so it, it easy to remove and add. It doesn't like tear or rip or anything. I think it's good because kids have like micro bits and if they're in their pockets and like, yeah, this, this is just, a good idea. It protects it. I, you know, it's, it's like a nice little thing. You just squeeze it on and then um, we set buttons there. It protects the battery jack and gives you these little ears so you can easily turn it into a wearable. And um, you might be wondering, like, okay, well, what about the LEDs? Can what you see the LEDs? them? What about the LEDs? What about it? But the LEDs shine through. The, the oh. plastic, uh, sorry, the rubber here is extremely thin. Like, it's cut out on the bottom and on the That's top. That's smart. So you can still see the LEDs just fine. In fact, they're nicely diffused. It actually makes yeah. them look a little bit better. Um, and you yeah. get this little angry cat. So that's the kitten bot. And Feed yeah, we have 
kitten butt case available in orange, red, orange, yellow, light blue, and dark blue. Okay, and tonight at the start of the show tonight, besides our community and Adafruit team members, these and you, these LED strips. We have new <coughs> pixels with alligator clips by popular demand. Um, some people, especially teachers and students and people doing workshops are like, hey, I don't want to have to strip, cut, wire, screw, solder, whatever, NeoPixels, I just want to clip them on and be done. So, um, on a micro bit. Here's in a couple fact, of close ups. And we have these in what, two different colors? We have two different lengths. Two different lengths. Um, now explain. The first length we have is 30 LEDs per meter. So it's kind of like this, you know, big. Um, like two inches apart or so and um, you get a full meter and at the end it's sealed because we want to make this kind of durable uh, you get red black and white red is of course uh, three volt power so you can clip that on here black is the ground pin so I'll clip this on slippery here and then white is the signal pin and we use the SK6812 which is a um, NeoPixel compatible chip that does not need, oh, this is really slippery, hold on. There you go. Um, does not need a resistor or capacitor. So you can just plug them in directly. And then if I reset this, Look at that. it comes up. It's a NeoPixel strip with rainbow in it. Here, so uh, maybe hold up the strip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, right here, I can just show it. Yeah, oh. Yeah, there you go. So one meter long. Of 30 LEDs per meter. So you get 30 LEDs. Um, NeoPixel it works with like, you know, every NeoPixel, whatever library. Um, you can use these chips with three volt logic and power. So it works fine with the micro bit, even though it's only a three volt regulator. Okay. Uh, haven't had any issues with it. And then we also have another version, which is 60 okay. LEDs per meter. Just when you thought it can get better. Um, it got better. And to keep the cost reasonable, because I'm thinking let's we'll start with like you know basic strips. It's twice as dense, so they're about you know one inch apart. Um, but you only have half a meter, so it's a shorter strip but more dense. So you have the longer, less dense, shorter, more dense. Same number of LEDs. You get 30 LEDs per, um, just different lengths. So I thought you know this would this would cover a lot of people's projects. Um, honestly, especially even the micro bit, you don't want to power too many LEDs because again that regulator isn't really designed to power a ton of NeoPixels, so I thought this was like, you know, a pretty safe number of pixels. 30 is like a pretty, you know, you're not going to go too crazy with that. You're not going to overload your, your micro bit or the, your circuit playground. If you want, you know, a, a five meter long strip, um, you're already a more advanced um, maker or crafter anyways. So works great with the circuit playground as well. Just again, power to the red clip, ground to the black clip and white to the signal clip. And then you can use it with CircuitPython, Arduino, MakeCode, whatever. Uh, just really, really easy to get going and then um, reusable, recyclable. So make it with one project, disconnect, and then connect to another project. And with that, this new product is Yay! So many pixels.